African American is not a nationality. It's something that they give us. 1985. You can't be older than your nationality. That makes no sense. That shows you how destroyed we are as a people. But guess what? This day is over. We're here to give light to those that want to follow God's word. Uh, I'm going to show you the reason why uh, we fell in that predicament to begin with. Where would you find yourself in that boy, sis? Which, which, because you see uh, Judah, right? Did you know that that's the same tribe that Christ came from? Right. Our uh, 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 Lord and Savior? But guess what? We say, nah, I, I, I'm not no Israelite. I'm, I'm, I'm African American. We take pride on a cool name. As opposed to what? Give me that in Hebrews 7. Watch this. The book of Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It says it was obvious that Christ, our Lord and Savior, came from out of Judah, the same tribe that you came from. Give me uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2. I'm going to show you who, who uh, Judah is according to the Bible. Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah mourneth and the late their own language. Read it again. Judah mourneth. And the gates their own language. It says Judah mourned. To, to mourn is to be in, in uh, 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 you are uh, crying out for things that are happened to you. We went to slavery. We have no, it says, and the gate their own language. Our leaders has been language. We don't have leaders anymore. Uh, when, you, when you have today, who do we have as leaders? You have your Kanye West that, that try to be this, the spokesperson for us. Right. You have your, your T.D. Jake. That's why I be the spokesperson for us. You have your Al Chapter. Those are not your leaders. That's right. Your leaders will know your needs. Will know who you are. Will, will tell you what you must do so you can get out the situation that you are in. We're getting uh, killed every day in the streets. We, we, are, we are worse than dogs. Dogs have more right than we do. Right. And yet you're going to be my leader? And you can tell me what can I do so I can get out in this situation that I'm in? That's madness. Things like that furious us who understand the Bible. Right. Our people refuse to hearken in what God says, but quick to listen to those people that pretend to be leaders. Read. To the morning, and the gates are their language. They are black unto the ground. They are what? They are black unto the ground. What the Bible is giving you, it's a description of telling you what they look like. Doesn't mean that's their nationality. It says they are black. Black is giving you, is describing the color of their skin. Okay? That's what it's telling you. Now, if Judah is black, so are his brothers. The Levites, the so-called Haitian. The Benjamites, the so-called Jamaican, West Indies. Those are your brothers. But guess what? This country teach you to hate them. Right. Oh, the Levite, they have AIDS. The, the so-called Haitian, they got AIDS. Don't deal with them. That's all them try to find ways to separate you from your people, knowing that the scripture, give me that in Zephaniah 2 and 1. The scripture telling us that we must come together. Right. If we come together, we become a powerful nation. Right. But that's not what they want. Give me that. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together. Oh, nation not desire. You see, the Bible tells us we must gather together because we are a nation that is not desired. We are not desired wherever you go. You go to uh, 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 it, um, China, I guarantee you they have a name for you. You go to uh, uh, Europe, they have names for you. Right. Everywhere you go, you will be hate. Guess what? It's also in the prophecy. Give me that in Deuteronomy 28. Um, I'm going to show you that it was 37. That we will be hate and we will be giving names. Give me that. And then, and then I'm going to show you what we must do so we can get out the situation that we are in. We're not just in to show you all the curses and then don't show you what must we do so we can get out. What must you do so your sons and daughters know how to uh, uh, work in the society, that they may look like prince and princesses. We can't say those words and don't follow any of the, the characteristic of a prince, uh, of a princess. You can't say you're a princess and you dressing immodest. That's the Oh, that's the opposite of that. I'm going to touch up on that. Give me that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 37. And thou shalt become an establishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations. You hear that? God says that you will become an astonishment. Astonishment is an amazement. The other nation going to look at you and shake their head. Mm -mm -mm. Look at these people. They're supposed to be God's chosen people? Look how they're killing one another. 
Look how they're raping one another. Look how he's sagging his pants, looking like a bum. Right. That's how they look at, when they look at us, that's how they see us. And, and you calling yourself God chosen? I mean, we don't, do, we don't say that, but they know what the scriptures say. They know that we are God chosen people. We don't. And thou shalt become an establishment. A proverb. A proverb is a wise saying. Black people don't like to read. If you want to hide something from a black man, put it in a book. That's us. That's a wise saying. The Bible don't lie. We don't. And a byword. A byword is calling you outside of your God-given name. Black. Black is a color. Right. Nigger. That's a, that, that's, uh, that's a derogative word to, to bring you down, which is mean the same thing. Black. Uh, 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 African American. That's two white men. Amer Amerigo Vespucci and, and Leo Scipio Africanus. You calling yourself after two white person? That's showing you how good we are as a people. We don't know who we are. Now let me show you something. Deuteronomy seven and six. I'm gonna show you what God says about you. Wait, read that for me. The book of Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. For thou art a holy people. God says you are holy. You are a holy people unto himself. Read. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He chose who? Has chosen thee. He chose you. So-called black, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native American. He didn't say everybody. I'm going to show you that. That's who he's referring to. Read. Has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. You hear that? You're supposed to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. But guess what? There gotta be a condition to that. For you to have that status, there gotta be something you must do. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. I'm gonna show you what you didn't do that caused you didn't get that status. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. God said, Moses was telling um, the Israelite what God says, what will happen to them if they don't listen. Listen. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to God's word. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He says all these curses. Is curses a good thing, sis? No, it's not. It says all these curses will come upon thee and overtake thee. Now I'm going to show you that what I'm referring to is only for the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American. Because I said that earlier. Now I got to prove it. The scripture tells you to prove all things. I'm going to show you this Bible. It's your historical book that they took away from you. But guess what? The prophets are back. You got to get the understanding that you need. We, uh, give me verse 16. Listen to that. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Now, we in Camilla, Georgia, right? Every area that the so-called blacks live in, is it a, a, a nice place to live? Or would you call it the ghetto, the, uh, the, the, the slum, the project? And what, what happened in those areas? Murders. Murders, selling drugs, raping, uh, uh, whoring one another. All kind of negative things you could think of happening in our neighborhood. You see what the scriptures say? It says, curse shall thou be in thy city. The area that you're going to live in. Guess what? It's not only in Camilla, Georgia. You go to Tallahassee, we have that too. You go to uh, 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 Miami, you have that too. You go to Chicago, you have that too. You go to uh, New York, you have that too. Everywhere the so-called uh, uh, black, Hispanic, and Native American will be, you're going to find that curse. Because that's what the Bible says. Jump to verse 47. Give me that. No, uh, uh, 46. Verse 46. And thou, and they shall be upon thee. The curses will be upon the Israelite, the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American. Read. For a sign. For a sign. A sign. That means these curses, the only way you're going to be able to identify Israel are by those curses. Guess what? They're going to live in the slums. That's Israelites. Verse 68. Watch this. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee in the Egypt again with ships. How did we get here to this side of the land? Ships. The scriptures say, we'll continue, read on, read on, read on. By the way, I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. It says you will not see your homeland ever again. Did you see your homeland since you've been here? No. Hell no. Read on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. The bond men, were we sold to our friends? Were they our friends? Friends don't sell friends to slaves. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. 
for bond men and bond women. Bondmen, slave men and slave women. That's exactly what happened to us 1619 when we came in this side of the land. We are. And no man shall buy you. Give me that in uh, Luke 1 and 68. The only way that you're going to be saved is going to tell you how. It's going to tell you who's going to save you. From who? Read that for me. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. You hear that? He didn't say blessed be God of everybody. He says blessed be God of who? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The, the, the fathers of all these 12 tribes that you see standing here. Blessed be God of Israel, the 12 tribes. We. For he has visited and redeemed his people. He will redeem his people. Because we're going to know God's word and we're going to follow it. Those that hear the word, they're going to hear it and they will follow it. Those that don't hear it, that means it wasn't for them. Read on. And I raised up a horn of salvation uh -huh. for us in the house of his servant, David. Uh -huh. Read on. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. The prophets, uh, uh, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, they were the ones that was prophesied about things to come about us. Read on. Which have been since the world began. Uh -huh. That we should be saved. We should be what? We should be saved from our enemies. Uh, read it again. We should be saved from what? That we should be saved from our enemies. From our enemies. Plural. That's showing you, you're not being hated by one group of people. There's a bunch of them that come together to destroy you. I'm going to prove that. Give me Psalm 83. And I'm going to prove that. The scriptures say prove all things. That's how you know that we are the prophet of the Most High God. Because everything that we're going to tell you is thus said the Lord. Read that for me. The book of Psalms, chapter 83, and verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. Uh, the, God's enemy made a tumult. The tumult is a loud gathering. What you have today they call uh, uh, um, UN. UN. The union. Read. And they... They hate thee, have lifted up the head. How they lift up their head? They become very prideful. They see they're running things now. They call themselves, uh, 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 um, they're the one that Christ, they, are, they call themselves Christ. When you can see in the image, they call themselves God disciples. They call themselves the prophets. They call themselves, they are the real Jews. They are Israel. And obviously they, they're not. We. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. A crafty counsel is a secret plot. They saying they made a crafty counsel against God's children. We. And consulted against thy hidden ones. The hidden ones are us because we don't know our true nationality. We lost our ways. We. They have said, come and let us cut them out. They us what do what? Come and let us cut them out. They said, let us cut the Israelites off. Let's cut them off. Uh, we. They have said, come and let's cut them out from being a nation. A nation is a, a group of people when you come together. You see all them right here that I just pointed out? If we would have known that we are one people, when we really uh, overthrow this world, it's a bunch of us here. But guess what? They divide us. That's what the scripture just said here. Right. Let us cut them off from being a nation. Divide them. Separate them. Call this one Haitian, call this one uh, um, African American, call this one Jamaican, call this one uh, Cuban, Puerto Ricans. They divide us. We. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So you don't remember that you are Israel. That's why you call yourself African American. Right. It's biblical. It's going to tell you who they are. I'm going to just mention a few of them and I'm going to uh, carry on. We. For they are consulted together with one consent. They come together with one mindset to destroy God's children. We. They are confederate against thee. Uh -huh. The tabernacles of Edom. The first one, the main one. Edom is the so-called white man. Right. That's what he just said. We. And the, and the Ishmaelites. The, the, the Ishmaelites are the so-called Arabs. Those are the two key ones you could see during slavery that really did a number on us. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.